everyone. We're going to transform each polar equation to an equation in rectangular coordinates. Identify and graph the equation. We have r times secant of theta equals 4 and r times cosecant of theta equals 8. All right, so basically what we're going to do is rewrite this one as r times 1 divided by cosine of theta equals 4. You cross multiply, we get r equals 4 cosine of theta. And the same thing goes for the second one, r times 1 divided by sine of theta equals 8. So r equals 8 sine of theta. Now these are circles and uh, we'll look at that after we get our rectangular coordinates. So to get the rectangular coordinates, you multiply through by r, you get r squared equals 4r times cosine of theta. Now let's use substitution. For r squared is x squared plus y squared equals 4 and r cosine of theta equals x. Now let's uh, group our x's together and subtract 4x from both sides and also complete the square for a perfect square trinomial. So you take half of 4 and square it, that gives you 4. Then we have plus uh, y squared. Since we added 4 to the left hand side, we also have to add it to the right hand side. Alright, now let's condense our perfect square trinomial as x minus 2 squared plus y squared equals 4. This gives me center 2 comma 0 and your radius equals 2. Alright, for this one we do the same thing. Multiply everything through by r. You're going to get r squared equals 8r sine of theta. So this is going to give you x squared plus y squared uh, equals 8y for your r sine of theta. Group everything together and you're going to get x squared plus y squared minus 8y and then uh, complete the square. Take half of 8 and square it. So that's going to be 16. So you have to also add the 16 on this side. All right, from there we can uh, condense our perfect square trinomial and write this as x squared plus y minus take half of your 8, 4 squared equals 16. That gives me my center is, and I'm going to put it up here, 0, 4 with your radius is 4. All right, so let's go ahead and graph these. Um, so for the first one, we had a uh, center is 2 comma 0 and radius equals 2. This was the uh, cosine one, which is this one. I know this is hard to see, but this is on my Facebook page if you want to save this for reference. Uh, basically, when you graph it, you go to 2 comma 0, which is right there on the polar graph. The radius is 2, so from here you go out to um, each place, and the rest is kind of hard, so you just sketch the graph here. So it's something like that. All right, for the cosine one, it's tangent to this line. That means it touches it, and it's centered on the polar axis here. Uh, the second one, we had um, the center was 0, 4, and the radius was 4. So we go 0, 1, 2, 3, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4. So right about there, and then we're going to go out 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 4. So let's put the center in uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. And then just uh, draw your circle 
try to make the radius look similar here. So there's your circle as much as I can get it there. Basically that's this one. Um, it's tangent to the polar axis here and centered on this line um, theta equals pi divided by 2. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.